hate crime. Many of the victims were refugees who'd recently fled violence in their home countries of Syria, Iraq, and Ethiopia. Investigators say Kinner had been living in the apartment complex a few doors down from where the party took place. He'd been asked to leave the day before. We saw, we we saw, saw him saying like bad words and, and killing and, our yeah. and stabbing our friends. And stabbing a kid. These young witnesses told the CBS affiliate in Boise they were playing outside when they saw the man run into the party and the rampage began. They ran to a nearby house and hid in a closet to wait for police to arrive. The faces of the parents struggling, the tears coming down their faces, the faces of the children in the hospital beds will be something that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. Kinner will be arraigned in court today. Police say he has an extensive criminal record in multiple states, including violent crimes. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. Authorities say all nine victims are facing serious injuries. Boise police say this is the most victims in a single incident in the department's history. Missoula Police Department reporting many local businesses have seen multiple counterfeit $50 bills over the past week. The bills have been washed and reprinted using real $10 bills to appear to be $50 bills. Because of this, they will pass the counterfeit pen test. However, they still retain the original $10 bill watermark, which is an image of Alexander Hamilton visible from both sides of the bill when held to the light. MPD is urging local businesses to check their inventory before making trips to the bank, and at which point it will become even more difficult to determine who passed the bill to the merchant. If a bill is suspected to be counterfeit, MPD says call dispatch non-emergency line at 728-0911 and they'll come pick it up, then ask for in-store surveillance video. Just days before President Donald Trump's visit to Montana to rally for Republican U.S. Senate candidate Matt Rosendale in Great Falls, Rosendale's campaign opened a new headquarters in Missoula. Rosendale is seeking to unseat incumbent Democratic Senator John Tester, and his team is in full swing for the November elections. Rosendale spoke with MTN News and says every vote counts. I think there's a, um, a misunderstanding across the state, and even with a lot of the folks in, in Missoula itself, that there's not a lot of Republicans in Missoula. I will not overlook Missoula or Great Falls or Billings or Dillon or Culberson or any other corner of the state. Rosendale said that he is honored that President Trump will be in Montana visiting this week and believes the visit will accomplish a lot. It's going to help us to continue to build on this momentum that we have uh, for the upcoming election and the excitement and energy that we see across the state from the Republican Party. On July 5th, there will be a rally at Four Seasons Arena in Montana Expo Park in Great Falls. Doors open at 1 p.m. and the rally starts at 4.